A bus driver jumped into action this morning after a school bus caught fire in Fayette County while students were still inside. Yeah, the bus was carrying Fraser High School student when it apparently had an electrical issue. Our Erica Stanish is live right now outside the bus company. And Erica, some parents say this isn't the first time this bus has had problems, right? Yeah, some parents I talked to tell me that since the school year began that this bus right here behind me, number 164, has broken down several times with students on board. And now they want to see it pulled out of service before someone gets hurt. A huge safety issue, not only for the bus driver, but the students as well. A scary morning for some Fraser School District students after their bus caught on fire on Shelfin Road in Fayette County. The bus company, T.A. Nelson, says a wire shorted out in the engine department, sending smoke and flames out of the front of the bus. We're told the bus driver was able to quickly get the students off the bus and use the fire extinguisher to put out the flames. This bus has a severe problem and he needs a new bus. But some parents tell us this isn't the first time this bus has had issues, saying it's broken down several times in the past, including on the second day of school. Bus 164 is running late and just left the school at 355. Please allow time for them to get home. And they said it happened again on September 15th. The kids said it was full of smoke. The kids were crying. They were very upset. We asked the vice president of the bus company about the incidents. He confirmed two weeks ago that the bus blew a heater hose, but said it's never broken down. The district told KDKA the same, putting out this statement to parents today, thanking the bus driver and firefighters for their quick actions. But parents say more needs to be done to keep their children and the bus driver safe. I would just hope they would do that and get it taken care of immediately. There should be no reason for that bus to be up and running. Now, I asked the bus company earlier today if they would be replacing this bus right here again behind me, and they told me that it would likely be repaired and then put back in service. Reporting live in Fayette County, Erica Stanish, KDK News.